Welcome back everyone to another Tower of Fancy video. We do have a short and sweet one for you today. Well, I'm going to try and keep it as short as possible, but there is quite a bit to get through. Stuff that's involving 2.5, stuff that's involving Fenrir in 2.3 and more. So without further ado, let's get stuck into it. So first thing first, we have a change to sequential phantasm in 2.5. It is getting reworked. Now, as you can see on the image that's popped up on screen right now, there are going to be four levels in sequential phantasm, not three, each of which is focused on one of the elements. And as an example, a level in which you can only deal frost damage and altered damage when using altered element, only 65% of damage will be dealt. So that is quite interesting. So 65 altered damage is actually getting a nerf according to this. So take that as you will. Each level of Phantasm Sequential has its own number of points and rewards. If you complete all four levels, you will receive the rewards presented in the picture in the post four times. You'll see that on screen right now. However, you cannot get absolutely all the rewards in the picture. You will receive one of three possible rewards after reaching a certain number of points in the fantasy level. So how that actually works, I'm not sure. I guess we'll see when it actually comes out. But the rework to Phantasm, I guess, as long as they're giving us more rewards, I'm okay with it. But I don't like the fact that altered damage is getting nerfed. I guess this is going in line with the introduction of Fiona, who's going to increase altered damage by 30% on CN. So again, these numbers that are here are based on CN, so it is not global. Now this next part here is actually quite interesting. The number of attempts that you can actually perform each of these attempts, each of these elements is two. You can only attempt it two. Now, whether it's two per day or two per week is currently un known once the mode is released and we have more information we'll know more but for now that is where we're at of course these are subject to change for global especially in terms of you know duration and ability to retry and you know the nerf to uh alter damage now this next one is a rumor but it is actually a big one if true now update 2.3 will take longer than usual now we used to like a four week cycle when it comes to each update four to five weeks right but apparently this one is supposed to be longer there is an assumption that around march 9th by this date the announced events of 2.3 will end a new update of 2.4 will not be released but instead version 2.3 Five. Now this actually makes sense because when we looked at the developers Q&A, they only showed Alice and Umi coming out in 2.3. If Fenrir now is being pushed to 2.35, that actually, you know, aligns with this theory. A insider has said, based on some of my sources, Fenrir should come out in 2.3, but it will come out much later. Umi's banner will come first. Now, by much later, they are referring to this 2.3.5 update. Now, from another person, if you believe the game files, data mine files, then in version 2.3, there should be a few more events like hide and seek and races. These events are almost ready for their release, but have not been officially announced, which can confirm the extension of update 2.3. Now they go on to say, take this with a grain of salt, obviously wait for actual announcements, official announcements from the team, the Terra Fancy team. But from what we're seeing here and from the information we have, you know, these events are kind of ready, but they're being held back for a kind of mid update for 2.3. And with Fenrir not actually being showcased by the Q&A team, which it really should have been. They've, we've kind of known that she's going to appear in 2.3, but not know when she's going to appear. Well, this kind of semi-confirms that there's going to be a kind of midway patch between 2.3 and 2.4, 2.35. And that 2.35 is going to be the patch update that brings in the likes of the new mini events like Hide and Seek, the racing events, and a few other bits and bobs, as well as Fenrir as a pullable character. So for those of you that are saving up, rest assured that you do have a bit more time to get to your Fenrir if this is to be believed. Take it as you will, but that is the information. Finally, 
there is a problem with Origins of War. Surprise! Not that anyone, because the game is in such a bad state at the moment. Who knows, right? Well, apparently an error occurred with the distribution of the difficulty reduction of some mode levels. Yeah, I know. I felt it. The development team is already urgently fixing the bug. Compensation will be sent to within two hours after the fix. Now, the compensation obviously is unknown on how much. It's either going to be 100, 200, or 500, somewhere around there. I'm hoping it's the higher bracket, right? Everyone likes those uh, Fremo crystals, dark crystals for free. Who can say no? Well, that's pretty much it for the update. That is everything that we have for today. I hope you found this useful and informative, and I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. And if you've made it this far, you're enjoying the content, support the channel. We are getting closer and closer to that 13.5K. Really would appreciate if we can get to that point by the 21st of February. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. As always, stay safe and remain legend. See you later.